Here's a really beautiful single shot German rifle. You know, in my collecting, I sometimes would focus on German rifles or rifles from uh, Czech Republic or Czechia or Czechoslovakia, Russia, different countries, because they're all interesting. And anyway, this is a Model 71 um, carbine, uh, just a beautifully made little rifle. This is in 43 Mauser, and if you know anything about the history of these early, let's call them Mausers, this was one of the first, the Model 71. It's just a single shot, then it became a repeater, if I remember my history right, 7184. This has all the nice touches of a hunting rifle. See that horn kind of pistol grip behind the trigger guard? Quite often that's cracked or completely missing. This one's intact and in great condition. There are a lot of nice touches, some stippling on the on the striker or bolt shroud. Uh, the double set triggers are untouched. Got a little bit of engraving kind of in the wood or carving. Uh, the bore as usual is excellent because there the ammo is so hard to find. I'm sure it's been hard to find for a long time. And just so I don't have to hold on to it, this is what I did find. Um, and this is this is saucy ammo um, adapted to Mauser rifles. I'll show you on the top. Dominion 43. I'll spin it around. 20 43 Mauser cartridges. If if we're not getting it clear, we'll get it clear for you in the studio. And um, yeah, so this box is in good shape. It's a lead bullet. And it says super clean on the end, so this is probably rust-free primers that are not, they, they don't cause rust. And what I thought we'd do is uh, take a shot or two. Very easy to operate, I'll drop these cartridges. So uh, you simply either load around uh, directly into the chamber or onto the loading platform. You can see it's steel. Uh, I've seen these actually with wood in here, but not this one. And this one is made, it says, somewhere I read, no, it says some dates, Mauser Model 71 on the back of the action. I wanted to see whether it said made in Germany, but quite often the early rifles don't say that. And then sometimes they say Österreich, which is Austria. Uh, anyway, you know, um, we'll just go ahead and shoot it and see how it does. <clears throat> I'll do one more. Good to stop on a hit. So we ended up shooting the entire box of that Dominion ammo. A delightful rifle to shoot. The substantial recoil because it's so light and you can see there's not too much to this rifle and as a single shot there's no you know mechanism i noticed that the ejection is very simple it just brings the round back and you can remove it by hand or slam it out like that um, sometimes i tip it uh, anyway i mean as far as a so-called antique rifle goes i would probably give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's quite accurate Quite a number of the shots I originally missed, so it sounds like I contradict myself. But you have to kind of adapt yourself, your aiming to the 
sights that are on a particular rifle. And in this one, um, you have to get the bead right in the in the shallow notch V. And then um, I had no trouble hitting at 50 and 100 yards. And of course, cleaning is going to be effortless. I noticed a couple of the rounds were black powder rounds, even though they didn't look different. So somebody probably mixed and matched to fill that 20 round box, although it looked new when I bought it. That's about all I can tell you about this beautiful little carbine. Um, it's dated 1876 and 1877 on the right side of the receiver. And then there are a few other markings. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Here's the steel butt plate. You would think that hurts. It's kind of um, small, uh, but I found it. I mean, there's recoil, but and there's a lot of power in this round within its range, but excellent. We had some adventures with this Model 71 in the mountains, and it was uh, it was a great day. Uh, we did some shooting, and um, frankly, mostly missing, uh, which often happens when you're when you're shooting a really old rifle and you're using ammunition that may or may not be exactly the right loading for the rifle or carbine that you're using. So in, in the case of this Model 71, I think I was constantly shooting high and it took me too long to get accustomed to the sights. Anyway, I thought I'd take a minute just because usually people ask me, you know, about the action itself. So very simple and we've gone through this before, but it never hurts to go through it again. This is a Model 71, so precursor to the 7184. And um, you may or may not know this, but uh, I find a lot of the rifles made from, say, 1850 to maybe 1900, 1910. Very interesting. After that, uh, you know, we all kind of figured out what's what with firearms and propellants. And, uh, and we're still on that on that path and as things become perfected they in a sense become more and more boring and predictable anyway i like the 71 so um, yeah very simple action some parts of it will re remind you of a mosin some parts of it will remind you of a lee enfield i mean there are many themes happening here but it locks well on this side rib there are no forward locking lugs and um, yeah i'll just show you so you know, I use my handy Holland and Holland screwdriver. I picked this up, I don't know, 20 years ago, and it serves so well. Um, you just loosen this screw, which I did before filming, and then that, you wouldn't think this is how you remove the bolt, but this is how you remove the bolt. So we just take the screw out. That's even more boring than normal. And that allows this washer to be removed. And that's really what captures the bolt. And then the bolt can simply slide right out. And you can see, well, I'll show you the action. So this is my kind of action. Extremely simple, single shot, uh, very elegant, very slender. You know, have a look at the, like the receiver ring really isn't there. It's just one dimension receiver and double set triggers no need for a floor plate everything very simple um, and even to this day within its range a near perfect hunting rifle and we eventually did get on target um, thank goodness for editing we just take out the <laughs> take out the misses but anyway and here's the bolt and you know what always amazes me is so far back they were able to do um, just wonderful milling and machining and no doubt some hand filing, but it's a very well-made bolt and uh, certainly adequate for the pressures that this cartridge generates, which I don't know off by heart, and you can recognize the flag safety on the back of the bolt. Just a fantastic thing to own. Um, so what else did I want to tell you about? Well, here's the ammo. This is not easy to find, but this is uh, Dominion from Canada, 43. That's this one. And then I'm not sure if the old Western Scrounger is still in operation, but th these were his reloads and they were excellent. 
I actually find these lows are a little hotter than these, just in case you get interested in this stuff, because it's actually a, a fascinating area of shooting. And I'll just move those aside so that in case there's something on the bolt you want to see, it's there. This is the bolt retaining screw and washer. And um, wh why do I have this on the table? Well, I have another single shot rifle. I think I showed it to you. And I'll bring it back um, from the vault. And this is the brass case. I had to wait like a long time before I could get these brass cases, but I was surprised RWS still makes them. So you can see this is 10.3 by 60R. Uh, obviously I haven't loaded up anything. They're, you know, very similar, but not similar enough so that they're interchangeable in any way that I can see. But I thought it's worth sharing with you, especially since we'll do that follow-up video on the other single shot. Um, anyway, these are becoming, well, they've always been scarce. There, there were not that many of these rifles or carbines around. But I thought I'd show it to you again, and maybe it would ignite some kind of interest um, in these older rifles. They're definitely worth uh, acquiring and studying and taking to the range. And this particular one is a fantastic, uh, really gem to own. And, you know, I wish hunting was easier than it, than it is. Now I'm referring to laws and areas and all the rest of that stuff. But anyhow, uh, in its time, I'm sure it had a lot of field hours. Uh, and I guess, I guess that's really all I have to say about it. It's just an altogether great rifle. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care until then. All the best health-wise and otherwise.